Hello and welcome to the Yogscast. Today we are looking at the Minima mod, which is incredible. So check this out. I'm defending our village, our wonderful town, from these orcs that are right on the edge of town, lining up a shot. This is actual, real, in-game footage yep. of Minecraft here, ladies and gentlemen. Real, in-game footage. This is the actual game modded. Take that, you bastard orc. You better be watching this in HD, or else I'm going to slap you. 720p, bitches. Are you blown away yet, Simon? It's incredible, isn't it? It's absolutely incredible. So, here's a Nova Bomb from Explosives Plus. Oh... Oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually see the explosion. Isn't it incredible? And look at the trees. The leaves on the trees. I'm just going to repeat this explosion. Now, this mod is a very interesting one. This mod is designed to let you record these things that you can't record in Minecraft because the game just can't handle it normally. So the Nova Bomb, for example, is something in Explosives Plus that when I blew that up before when we looked at the mod, it just froze my computer for about six seconds and then reloaded in. Um, here's it going off at half speed. Uh, this minor mod, basically what it does is it, it doesn't optimize the game, okay? It makes Minecraft run really, really, really slowly so oh, it doesn't get overwhelmed. Beautiful. Okay? So as you can see, all these trees are moving. There's wonderful shadows. There's beautiful shaders everywhere. The, you know, I've got high definition texture pack. I have basically made a Minecraft client that is completely ridiculous. If I loaded up this Minecraft client with all the shaders and all the lighting and all the, all the special mods, it would run like crap, but it would be beautiful. Okay? And I'm blowing up this bomb, these Nova bombs, which are the most demanding things in the world. They are like, they just melt your computer down when you try and cast them. But look at this. <laughs> look how amazing <laughs> this is. Okay? Now, so they're moving so many entities. What you have to understand here oh. is that the Minima mod, what it does is, this shot here that I'm taking, okay, I'm repeating it, this shot here is like 15 seconds long, this explosion, but it took me like an hour to record, okay? So the way it works is it basically underclocks your Minecraft really slowly, and when you actually record it in the game, it appears to be going really, really slow. So here... I've put torches, don't worry about how I've done it. What? With a Nova bomb and water beneath, <laughs> sucks up the water. It's just what? insane. And it plonks them all back down again. <laughs> it's completely nuts. Well, that was. So this is. <laughs> you hadn't seen that one, had you? So this is. Um, these, these are basically torches just, just world edited in. Uh, and the Nova Bomb, 40 radius Nova Bomb, that's the maximum you can do with literally without melting down the game, the physics of the actual game itself. Um, so this is pushing Minecraft to its very limits. Oh and what Minima does is it slows everything right down. So that one explosion there, again, it's just, it's just a huge amount of time. It's like about um, you know a couple of hours to actually get that single bit of footage. Um, however... This doesn't rely on a good PC. I actually recorded this on a laptop with integrated graphics. Okay, This was not recorded on a very good PC. Minima will keep slowing you down. You could run it on a really shit PC, and it would take like two weeks to actually get you know this much done. But it just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. It, you know, it, it would... Um... Oh, my God, isn't this incredible? Look at all the torches. They all land underwater, and then they like get snuffed out. If you check out over on the left-hand side... See, the, the, um, oh, it's weird. It's really crazy and awesome. I mean, this, this is a way for people to make really good looking Minecraft videos with even a crap computer. Yep. And that is amazing to be able to do that. Yep, it is. Because that's a big thing that's holding us back a lot of the time. Look how amazing these shots are. So the, 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 the inventor of the mod showed it off with like a whole, what row of creepers and they all just went up you know in a, in a big explosion and it showed it all and he he did a very cool thing with arrows so this poor testificate village here is just getting melted by Aww. these nova bombs um Aww. i'm also using like a couple of other pretty complicated mods but just to basically improve the quality of the graphics to just push it as far as i can yeah um you might also notice that 
that test certificate at the back, he actually wants to try and go into the garden, and so he tries to jump onto that Nova bomb, but he just sort of falls through it because it's not actually. No. A... <laughs> well, he. And then he kind of gets gets blown up in flames. Oh, my goodness. Oh no. Tragic life of a test certificate. I wouldn't recommend people really just dive straight into this expecting it to be, you know, easy because this is this is something which, you know, has taken like the entire weekend of me and especially Ridge Dog. Oh my god. He spent so long on this stuff. It's it's completely mad. Aha. So this is a sheet of TNT. Okay. Oh my god, it's beautiful. <laughs> which we've put in using Voxel Sniper. Now, I ignited that TNT, and I slowed the game right down, and I used a mod called Camera Studio, which is used to do time lapses. Oh, um, so it's that mod that people use when they do the sort of slow flyers of the builds and things like this. Um, Shin uses it a lot in his videos. Oh, my good God. I've also disabled Smoke... And I've disabled a few other things from the TNT. I've done it from multiple angles. And there's no way that you'd ever be able to show this off without using this mod. No. If you look at the start here, right, travelling started, that is actually the time-lapse mod. What I'm using that for here is to move this entire distance in less than a second. So from, that, from igniting that first block of TNT to standing here, that takes one second of in-game time then this is actually at real time now, this explosion going off. Um, but obviously right. it's taking me a lot longer than that to record it because of Minima. Um, so all of these explosions have been in real time. The arrow shot is in real time. There's no post-processing. There's no 3D animations. There's no external studios. This is all shot in-game using Minima. Um, and what it does is it, it basically slows down Minecraft really badly, and then it just renders out this, this high-quality video very slowly. Um, well, not slowly, but as fast as your PC can handle. So back to this arrow shot. This took about nine hours from start to finish. Okay, so the arrow shot starts here. Now that test certificate would not even be. It's an orc skin test certificate, but it wouldn't even be visible. And 140 meters is the absolute limit of an arrow shot. Okay. Now getting this arrow, getting this camera to follow that arrow, takes nine different Cam Studio time lapse points, where it slowly pans between them. Okay, hitting the testificate was pretty much hard as nails because this is in real time. This arrow shot is in real time. <laughs> so by the time that actual arrow has landed, which is like a 10 or 15 second flight, that testificate has wandered miles <laughs> away. So I missed him about nine times. Okay, um, so I mean it's just ridiculous. This this whole shot is is so absurdly complicated. It's it's <laughs> it's just mental but if you've got a, if you've got enough time and if you're willing to learn then you can do this you can do such cool computer. stuff you don't need captain sparkles's super 3d animation suite craziness you know which takes him oh weeks God, again to like code things so this is actually me doing yes. the same job but in fraps so this is what it looks like in fraps by the way so i have to cam start the cam studio uh time lapse and then it follows but look how jerky Whoa. it is you know um because this is because because I've got all these I've actually had to turn off a lot of things, um, and it doesn't look anywhere near as good. Um, but yeah, this is how it would land normally. The arrow thumps into there. I actually hit myself with the arrow a few times uh, when I was doing it. The arrow has deviations, so they don't always fly in the exact same point where you shoot them. Um, mm. So there you go. There's a final shot of this last one. Doesn't it look incredible? Cam Studio and Minima and Shaders Mods, all of the links are in the description. I can't quite remember which order you need to install them in. It's ridiculously complicated. Maybe we'll make like a filming pack on the tech launch or something eventually when we can get it all a bit more optimised, but it's amazing. <coughs> and thank you to the Voxel Box for denoting the city of Kalborg, where this lovely aero shot is taking place. Thank you, Nerolus. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you! Goodbye! Mwah.